everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on what's considered one of the greatest 4x4s to ever crawl the planet, right? When you hear about uh, Land Rover Series 1, 2s, and 3s, you look at any old movie uh, from the, you know, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, there's desert scenes, war scenes, or whatever. This shows up every single time. You go to vacation in Africa where the, the environment is so harsh, the conditions are rough, the sand, the heat, the whatever, 10 times out of 10, it's a Land Rover. It's a Series 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, or the Defenders, right? Why? All right, we're going to take a few minutes and see why is the proprietary four-wheel drive system in this so good, right? Why is it that these are known for being able to crawl and move and do things that even Jeeps can't do, right? And while these are expensive, right, you get what you pay for and they're worth kind of the same forever. And now we're watching these cool things restored, go up in value like crazy. Many times we get mad at ourselves. Oh, I should have bought a, a Shelby Mustang back in the 70s and kept it. It'd be worth, you know, whatever, whatever. Well, this might be the next win for you. Um, how you can kind of make it your own, right? Just tell me, what do you mean by that? It's, it's going to be mine when I buy it. Yes, of course, it's going to be yours. However, it doesn't have to look like this when you get it, right? It can have a few changes if you want. For instance, some people would like to have a white roof and white wheels. No big deal. That's paint. Easy to do. We can do that. This hard top here comes off. Soft top can go on. No big deal. Maybe you don't like the tire here. This hood, you have two different hoods. You have one with the mount and one without. We could just replace the hood. Shoot it the same color as this, remove the tire off there. Maybe that's something that you would like off or you love that. And maybe you would like to add a winch on the front of the bumper. We can do that. All right. So all of those little things right there, kind of making it your own. It's really great. Um, I was looking at this here just because I couldn't remember the name of the color of the paint. Uh, but I remember it was cool because it's exactly what it is. It's called light pastel green. And it's exactly that. It's a light pastel green. Here's what I love about this paint. A classic vehicle can pull this color off today. A modern Defender could not. They couldn't sell this car in this color because it doesn't, it's not representative of the time. This is exactly representative of the time. It's why it looks so great. It's why you're looking at this video and why you're smiling while you're doing it. All right. Um, and this is serious four wheel drive. We'll get into that in a little bit, but the paint is actually a little nicer than it was uh, from the factory. Hope you don't mind that. But if you're going to go show it worldwide, you might have to rough it up a little bit. But if you just want to enjoy it and take it to modern shows locally, uh, there's a good chance you could win. So come on up here and let's check out the quality of this light pastel green paint where you can read all of the letters in there, all of the nice words, nice and clear. You can see that the roof in there, or the ceiling, it's up there, the lights, all that good stuff. These right here are vents. Um, I want to talk a little bit about that because this is designed to also go camping in. OK, and what do I mean by that? Well, this right here is for fresh air. This is a safari top. This is an expensive piece of this vehicle. And what it does is this piece goes on top of uh, the normal roof of one. That's why you don't see them very often. OK, it was ordered that way. And why? Because inside there's all of these vents and windows and stuff in here so that you can fold the seats down, camp inside here if you needed to, keeping the bugs and the animals out and able to get wherever you need to go. You're going to remote places that other people may never ever get to see. All right, so uh, you have a couple of choices here. Um, people, uh, because these sit up high, they're nice, they don't get hung up on rocks and things like that. And having an independent uh, suspension makes a big difference. Here we have a step, which makes it really nice to get in and out. If you don't love the step and wanted to do step tubes, we could do that instead. Uh, but just wanted to show you of course, all the new stuff that's on there, new brakes, new wheels, new tires, new bearings, all that good stuff. All right, so let's take a minute and we'll move into the back and you see kind of how to the utilitarian aspect of this. All right, so let's take a peek under here now. Leaving that on the hood, right, makes the hood a little bit heavier, of course, right? Uh, but the good news is you can still work on everything. Here's what people love about these. This is a, this is a, a key feature of this vehicle is you can see everything. Everything is accessible here, right? You can get to spark plugs. You can get to the air filter. You can see that this is a sealed system, right? So that water coming up doesn't get sucked into uh, that there. This has power steering here, which is really a nice feature to have. A lot of people forget to ask about that, right? We have disc brakes. People forget to ask about that too. Here we have a rebuilt engine, a rebuilt transmission. The cool thing about this is this is uh, from South America and it was restored there at the U.S. Embassy by the Brazilian staff at the embassy, right? And you'll see in there also too, like we have some Brazilian cherry wood, 
all kinds of cool stuff that's in there. And uh, anyway, the cool thing is it's been done. It's been done by people who know these really well because it's a very popular vehicle there. All right, so part of, uh, part of what makes it a Defender a Defender is to see it from this angle, right? What normally happens is vehicles get caught on rocks, right? And you can see how much higher up uh, this is uh, up in the body. Look how many leaf springs are on here. This is a heavy duty vehicle designed to carry big, big loads, right? Uh, everything there is good. This has uh, this large style jack, why? Because sometimes you're on rocks, sometimes you're in sand and things like that and you have to uh, be able to jack this up. This comes with a significantly different jacking system. So we have multiple tires on the vehicle for spares. We have this one here, we have the one up front there. I just was taking this, uh, open this up real quick just so you could see how it works. Kind of locks in place here. Then you have this nice piece whoop, right here that goes up it's on shocks. Then this right here comes down, boom, and you have a beautiful, beautiful interior. Now, this is also set up for towing too, right? These are designed to carry things. It's with a military used. I mean, if the military is using them, you know it's serious, heavy duty stuff. But where they shine the most is kind of inside. So a couple things that a lot of people may not know about, for instance, right inside here, are locking compartments on both sides, right? Let's say you went to the beach, you want to go in the water and whatever, you throw your stuff in there, put one key in, boom, and you lock it down inside uh, your bathing suit. Seating in here for four, and then we'll go ahead and get inside. And then I like to point out this too, is that I'm 6'1", right? And I have a room in here. These are the vents that we talked about here for, uh, for camping and what have you. Sliding windows, plenty of lights, roomy and light, well lit in here. And uh, one of the nicer features, which is way too nice for uh, a normal vehicle, but this is more like a, a show vehicle, is that this is Brazilian cherry wood that was custom made uh, by the craftsman who restored this vehicle. That's a pretty nice piece in here. It looks really great. There's a custom console. When we get up to the front there, you're going to see that as well. Uh, it's just really, really nicely done. And this is such a cool piece. Imagine tailgating in a vehicle like this versus somebody in maybe their pickup truck. Not that a pickup truck is bad, but this right here is definitely a statement. Maybe you want to take, uh, take a break from life and drive this to work, man, and leave from work to go away for the weekend. This is exactly what you're doing. I'm smiling, thinking about how cool would it be to go camping in something like this that I just drove to work on Friday. Not many people get to do that or go to a car show with it and then go camping. So many things you can do. Anyway, let's get inside because uh, this is where you're going to spend most of your time. All right. Why do people love? All right, so come in, join me in here for a second. All right. Whew, I'm so excited about these things. Why do people love them? Well, look at all the room in here, right? These are more modernized seats, right? And they're very comfortable. You could drive for a while. Look at the panoramic view. There is so much glass area in here, right? You can see everywhere, including the rear windows that have vents up top that are there that you can see. Uh, and then we have full array of gauges. 140 kilometer an hour speedometer. This is showing 69,000 original kilometers. This is a low mileage vehicle. This is in the 40,000 mile range, right? And it's been restored. How cool is that? This custom made console is lockable. So if you wanted to, uh, this is a CB radio, which is kind of cool. Why is there a CB radio in here, Tone? We don't use that anymore. Well, if you're in a remote location without cell service, you can still use a CB radio where on a uh, cell you could not. Uh, we can also put in here a modern sound system, which you could lock inside here if you decide to go away, which would be really, really nice. Stream your music, uh, Bluetooth or whatever. Here's your uh, uh, decals for uh, operating the four-wheel drive system. That says four high, four low. Uh, and in four low, man, this thing will almost go up the side of a building. It is serious four-wheel drive. And the shifter is just nice and easy. Like, listen to a click into each gear. Right, it's just a super easy vehicle to drive, and then the dash is designed for the driver. It really is. Everything is right here for you, uh, easy to see, and ready to roll. And again, this is the venting system that we looked at earlier. Uh, you can adjust that for how much air you want to come in, and uh, and that's it. I think, quite honestly, I've rambled on enough about this, and I think that uh, I'd like you to think about this for a second. You can also take the top off if you want. You can get a soft top. You can get a bikini top for it, right? Where it's just a, a little little layer at the top. But imagine taking the kids out in the back here and going to dinner, right? Or going out to dinner with another couple in this vehicle, right? Everybody's talking. They're having a good time. It's a game changer. It's a lot, a lot of fun.
All right, so we closed up this video. We talked about a lot, a lot of stuff during this time, but I want to talk about the most important part, and that is restoration. This has been restored, right? Because these are expensive to restore. If you've looked at the price of a new Defender, they are super expensive, right? They're approaching the $100,000 mark, and the 94 to 97 Defenders are now uh, selling for, with low miles, like something like this, for close to 100000 Crazy. The world is going crazy. Anyway, this is such a great value for such a great look and so much good fun. Uh, again, you can do a couple small changes if you wanted to make it the way you want it, or you can use it just as it is and start enjoying it today. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this cool uh, Series 3 uh, Land Rover. And uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. It helps get the message out. And I'm really appreciative of that. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We have new stuff coming out all the time. And don't forget to uh, maybe share this with your friends. They might like to see some of what we do too. I will see you on the test drive. Normally we start up, you know, high performance car videos and things like that, just so you can hear the sound of it. But I wanted to start this one for a different reason because this is uh, probably one of the only cars that we own that starts day in, day out, no matter what you do, you just hit the key. It's so finely tuned and you can see why these people uh, use these things all over the world to to drive and, and go in the desert and do all those great things. It's kind of cool. It's got a great sound to it too. It doesn't vibrate through the whole truck and it's got great power from the video. You saw that. Uh, I think you'd love it. All right, so I get this all the time. Oh, what's it like to drive those cool things, man? Well, you know what? Today we're doing it. We're driving We're driving out the Series 3. And uh, you know what? You learn a lot of things when you drive these vehicles. First off, there's a little rattle in the back, and I noticed. And you know what I noticed was the spare tire wasn't adjusted to the back of it. So if we hear that, that's pretty easy for us to uh, adjust. But I just wanted you to know, notice it. Uh, I was really surprised at how well this handles all around the corners um, and it's got great power you can get on the gas you can walk it down hills I mean, it's really designed for not only off-roading abilities but uh, the highway as well which is kind of cool you'd want to be able to use that downshifting is easy get right on up the hill You can imagine what it'd be like to go to the peaks, right? The outer banks or something like that, where uh, where you could really get the show off its four-wheel drivability. All right, we're back on the road again, enjoying and showing off the uh, the Series Three. And while this is a little unfair, uh, you know, to take it on a windy road, it's really doing well. I'd love to take it off-road, but it's really nicely restored, and I'd like to leave that for you, right? You could be the first one to take it off-road after we all clean the detail, or maybe you just want to take it to a show and not take it off-road, but that's not really what it's designed for. It's really designed for uh, to be able to, for me to go off here in the woods that we're looking at right here. I just go right down the hill, right on across the river, and move on up uh, back onto the highway, or people pop up out on the highway, people are like, whoa, where'd that guy come from? Anyway, you know what I'm saying. But I love this tire that's in front. It looks so, like, hover. It looks like a hover. Just big duty, heavy duty, ready to ride. Anyway, so we'll uh, take care of that little rattle that's back there. But other than that, she's super tight. The steak is nice, too. What do you think? All right, well, thanks for riding with me today. I hope you enjoyed uh, the test drive in this cool uh, Series 3. I enjoyed riding with you, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.